I went from 30 frames to 70 frames to 140 frames. I got Arma 3 from looking like this to this. It's like I hacked the frames per second. Arma 3 is infamous for its lack of optimization. After spending over a thousand hours at 30 frames per second, I decided I needed a change. After searching the depths of the internet, I found six different ways and three mods to improve FPS. I will show you what I did step by step and how effective each step was. Video options. Go to the general tab. Click auto detect. Auto detect resets a lot of your setting to that of Arma's recommended settings for your hard for your particular computer. Now they're not perfect, so we're going to make some tweaks. Starting with sampling, leave this at 100%. Textures, objects, and terrain can also be left at default as changing them might actually lower your FPS. The main one we're going to look at is PIP. I'm gonna set that to low. Visibility, keep this at default. Object, I will move up to match that of the overall visibility distance where this number is the number in meters or 3,800 meters out. Shadow, I will lower to 50 meters. Dynamic lights, keep on very high. Water reflections is similar to picture in picture as water reflections have to render another picture of what it's reflecting. Set that down to standard. Display tab, set the display mode to full screen window. The resolution will match that of your monitor. Do not change this to, even if you changed your display mode back to full screen, confirm that VSync is disabled. Interface size does not matter. AA and PP tab, set the bloom to zero. Radial blur, zero. Rotation blur, zero. Depth of field, zero. Sharpen filter, I will set mine to 100. AO, set this to high. Post-process color corrections do not matter. They only affect color. Anti-aliasing, FSAA is our culprit of FPS loss. We will disable FSAA. Now that I made those video options, my FPS went from this to this. For further tweaking, refer to the official Arma 3 performance optimization guide table on the Bohemia Wiki. You'll notice these tables here separated by the video options tab, general, display, and AA and PP. They each have circles corresponding to the CPU and GPU where a red, yellow, and green. Red most heavily impacts frames per second. Yellow moderately affects frames per second and green barely affects frames per second. So pay attention to the red circles and set your settings a little bit lower for those. And then look at the yellow and then green likely will not affect your frames per second. And on those settings, you can set those to whatever you want. Launcher parameters. In the Arma 3 launcher, go to parameters and select all parameters tab. Select show static background and menu skip logos at startup. That will allow you to open up the game much faster than having to wait by seeing the logos or loading the world into the menu. Under advanced, go to CPU count and enter the number of actual physical CPU cores that you have in your PC. Select extra threads and select each of the options, file operations, texture loading, geometry loading. If you have hyperthreading, select enable hyperthreading. In memory allocator, you're best selecting Windows allocator system. At first glance, it looks like the parameters did nothing. But go to the main menu and my FPS nearly doubled again. Performance profiling. Open your Steam library. Go to the properties for Arma 3. Betas. Copy the code provided in the description stating caution, special profiling and testing branch Arma 3. Click check code. Select the beta profiling performance profiling build. Your Arma 3 will update with a small download. Upon opening Arma 3, the launcher will show a banner stating profiling. This is how you know that you are using the performance profiling build. Performance profile got the same FPS as the launchers. Config. Open your documents Arma 3 folder, and then open the Arma 3 CFG file in Notepad. First, find the line that says refresh and change this number to the maximum refresh rate of your monitor. Next, find the lines GPU max frames ahead and GPU detected frames ahead. Change GPU max frames ahead to one and change GPU detected frames ahead to one. Then save this file and close it. Womp womp. The config didn't do that much. Again, that might be due to the performance profile doing the same thing. CPU priority. Download and install process lasso. Once it's open, open 
Arma 3, the actual main game, not just the launcher, and then go back to Process Lasso. Right click on your Arma 3 execution file, go to CPU Priority, Always, and set to Above Normal. Go back to it, right click, go to CPU Affinity, Always, and uncheck CPU Zero. And boom, FPS did go up. Stand by, Liz Cleaner. Download and unzip ISLC, link in the description below. Open up and take a look at your total system memory. Half that, enter into the free memory is lower than field and hit start. Not much new here due to my RAM being free already. This first mod significantly affects your FPS by automatically setting the view distance to match your target FPS. Once the mod is installed, open up the video options and you will see a new option called automatic view distance. Set the target FPS that you want, such as 60 or 144, and then turn it on. Bam! You can watch your frames increase and your view distance decrease. Thank me later. I 27 timed my frames with this next mod, Advanced Garbage Collector. This mod turns dead infantrymen into body bags. How does this work? Well, infantrymen are a lot more complicated and have more polygons. The computer has to do a lot more work to render them, where the body bag is a simple object that has very few polygons. Before you run off screaming about body bags showing up everywhere, this mod actually turns the body bags into infantrymen when you get close enough to them. Go back to video options. The mod adds a couple of options, allowing you to have lower quality textures than normal. The first one is the texture setting. We can set to super low. Objects can be set to lowest. And terrain can be set to super low. I would only suggest using these settings in this mod if you are desperate to get more frames per second. And I mean, very, very desperate. Whew. Now that we've tried and tested six different methods and three mods to increase FPS in Arma 3, let's recap. Some methods work better than others, but don't take it to heart. You should try them all. With every PC and every Arma game being different, different PCs to have different bottlenecks. For me, video settings had the largest impact. In addition to the mods, I will leave my PC specs in the description below. Disclaimer, these methods might not increase your FPS in multiplayer servers. Why is that? Because the FPS might be capped by the limitations of the server. That leads us to another caveat. The amount of objects, AI, and scripts are running in your server, the lower FPS you're going to get. Now let's get to the moment we've all been waiting for. The complete before and after. Now that you have smooth Arma 3 gameplay, Get the best must-have mods by watching this video. 